Ah, my name is Ido Fabadjo. The current administration in Ogun State has vowed not to engage in lopsided socio-economic development of the state despite the COVID-19 pandemic. The governor of Ogun State, Prince Tafu Abdu, made this known in his Christmas message at St. James Anglican Church, Iperuemo. Governor Abdu charged residents of the state to celebrate responsibly and share the love of Christ, which is the spirit of the season. And also legal state where the governor, Babazide Sonwolu, has urged the legal sense to give up all gatherings associated with Christmas celebrations. The governor, in a message to legal sense on Christmas Day, said the restraint was necessary to curb the spread of the coronavirus amidst the second wave of the pandemic. Sonwolu, who just recovered from the novel virus, said he wished all legal sense a very happy and joyful Christmas. The lesson of Christmas in itself is one of love and sacrifice by our Lord Jesus Christ. We are to demonstrate this love that's according to the governor, one another, by ensuring we observe all the COVID-19 safety protocols so we do not spread the virus. The statement adds, this new tide will demand that we give up all acts that can encourage community spread of the virus by not hosting and attending events that will breach safety protocols. And now to the Presidential Task Force PTF who on COVID-19 has insisted that the 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. coffee remains in force amidst the second wave of coronavirus in the country. Dr. Sani Aliyu, who is the national coordinator of the PTF, stated this on Thursday while briefing reporters in Abuja. He also announced new protocols as part of measures to curb the spread of the disease, including the closure of bars and clubs in various parts of the country. The PTF coordinator called on the security agencies to enforce the protocols on the use of face masks and the physical distancing. He echoed the directive that civil servants on grade level 12 and below should work from home and ask the permanent secretaries in their respective ministries to enforce the order among other protocols. Ali called on state authorities to delay the resumption of schools until at least January 18, 2021. Now for securities, it's now the Inspector General of Police IGP, Mr. Mohammed Adamu, has approved the deployment of the five newly promoted Deputy Inspectors General of Police, DIGs, to the Department of the Force. The Force Public Relations Officer, Mr. Frank Kumba, disclosed this in a statement on Friday in Abuja. He said the deployment followed the recent promotion of senior police officers by the Police Service Commission, PSC. The newly promoted DIGs and their postings include Usman Baba, Force Criminal Investigations Department, Ibrahim Lamode, Force Intelligence Bureau, FIB, and David Folawiyo, Information Communication and Technology ICT Department. Others are Joseph A. Buneke, Finance and Administration Department, and Damala Mohammed, Training and Development Department. He said on behalf of Mr. Moses Jitobo, a newly promoted Assistant Inspector General of Police AIG, was to be deployed from the Border Patrol Section to the Department of Research and Planning. He said that the IGP had congratulated the officers who, by their promotion, had become members of the Force Management Team. The SPRO said the redeployments were with immediate effect. Away from the shores of the country now, Malian op opposition leader Somalia Sise has died of coronavirus aged 71. His family and party said Friday after being held hostage for six months by the artist earlier this year. Sise died in France where he had been taken for COVID-19 care. A member of his family told AFP Caesar was snatched by jihadists on March 25 while campaigning in the northeastern Timbuktu region ahead of legislative elections. He was freed six months later in October alongside a French woman, French woman Sophie Petrunia, and two Italians. The hostages were exchanged for some 200 prisoners whose release was demanded by jihadist groups. A former leader of the opposition in parliament, Siza was runner-up in three presidential elections. And now into the world of sport. Manchester City duo Kill Walker and Gabriel Jesus have tested positive for the coronavirus. The club confirmed on Friday 
two members of the club staff whose identities have not been revealed have also tested positive defender walker and the striker jesus now look set to miss city's premier league matches against newcastle everton and chelsea with a return possible for the carabao cup semi-final against manchester united on january 6. all four personnel will now observe a period of self-isolation in accordance with premier league and the uk government protocol on quarantines city said in a statement released on friday morning the positive test announced on christmas day come as the uk faces a surge in coronavirus cases with 39,036 confirmed on thursday marking making the second highest daily total since the pandemic began the figure brought the total number of confirmed cases since the pandemic began to two million 180,587. And that's it on OGTV News on the hour. Hope you are enjoying the Christmas. Bye for now.